Come on. Inside of this there is water. Water is made by oxygen and hydrogen. But right now, because it's a liquid, it's impossible to make them burn. Instead, if I can bring them in a gas state, I can burn them very easy. And these two gases will burn at a very high temperature, almost like the temperature that is around the sun. And this is a very high temperature, I guarantee you. Also professionals like uh, jewelry or dentists use this type of flame to make little weldings very, that are very, very strong. So I'm here in the shop. I think that this will be a very handy project so follow me for a couple of minutes I'll show you what's in my mind right well I know what's in my mind but that there's no hydrogen oxygen in water yeah and I'm trying to work out how he's gonna actually show to people that he's gonna produce hydrogen especially produce hydrogen from water mm. how he's gonna do that well yeah well that's interesting mm. isn't it how is he gonna do that just so that people can watch and think yeah He's getting those gases from the water. Or he's getting that hydrogen from the water. Nothing else but from the water. water. Yeah, I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder what he's going to do. What mm. do you think he's going to do? I, well, think we should, I think we, he needs to know an alternative explanation yeah, as to what he's so, doing. Yeah. yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah so yeah. let's go and annoy him. Yeah. Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. Yeah, well, we're back again, annoying people with our views and opinions because... Because a lot of people dislike to hear other people's views and opinions. That's absolutely right. A Ooh. lot of people do dislike hearing or being exposed to other people's views, views and, opinions, and opinions, especially when those views and opinions are not in line with theirs. Absolutely. Like if you go into a room and there's 19 people and you say to them, that the, the earth's, earth's flat. flat then the 19 people might just get up and walk away absolutely of course especially if they if you're they're in, uh, your they're your local council members for example absolutely yeah, yeah. you know but uh, we've we've come to the conclusion that the globe model and water being hydrogen and oxygen and we breathe in oxygen mm. and exhale co2 and there's oxygen, 21% oxygen in the air. Our, our views... And there's nitrogen in the air. And there's nitrogen in the air, absolutely. Our, some of the views we don't... We subscribe do not to. subscribe not to. to. Absolutely. Other people can f feel free to mm. yeah, subscribe to those views, but there's something we don't subscribe yeah, to. Because we, we have the because view... Because there's no proof. We have the view that man produces those gases absolutely of course we absolutely man produces, produces those, gases. those gases oxygen for example is a produced manufactured gas mm. so how can it exist naturally Correct. when it hasn't the air hasn't been manipulated, manipulated in any way yeah. it hasn't been manufactured well, hasn't been processed well we've got a great one with uh, how they make nitric oxide absolutely of course but, but that's um, something else um, anyway, come on. Anyway, before we get started, what have we got on for everyone's displeasure? Well, for everyone's pleasure, you know, if um, people are um, open to hear other people's views and opinions. Absolutely, of course. We're going to have a look at, we're going to show some uh, TDS meter readings because we've done a bit more and got some similar results with our uh, hydrogen fuel cell. Absolutely, yeah. We're going to have a look at the, the guy. We're going to offer the guy we met earlier. We're going to offer our alternative explanations to where the gases are coming from absolutely we're going to look at uh, one of our globy subscriber one comments of our, one of our globy subscribers sure who subscriber. left a comment um we this guy has written a report on what's the best water to drink absolutely we're going to have a look opinion, at that and it's water absolutely water but yeah absolutely well really it should be what's the best impurity contained in water to drink, drink. absolutely because water is be. water because water is water um, we're also going to have a look at some, an Amazon tribe. We're going to go deep into the Amazon. Absolutely. Because into the rainforests. There's lots of healthy people there, more healthier 
than the people in this man's Man's Western, Western semi-civilised world. world. Mm. And we're going to have a look at this as well. And you thought the Philosopher's Stone can be found, yeah? Well, it's our opinion that commercially produced gold is 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 uh, manufactured. Is manufactured, absolutely, of course. Um, uh, so there we go. So that's what we're going to do. Before we get going, let's do our song. Because we've got an awful lot to get through. And, and because we're talking about gold. And because we're doing gold, we may as well do... Uh, Not Andrew Gold. It. We could have done Andrew Gold. We? We could have, oh, we could have done... Thank you. We could, oh, right, yeah. There we go. We've got Spandau Ballet and gold. Here we go. <clears throat> Thank you for coming home, I'm sorry that the chairs are all worn I left them here I could have sworn These are my salad days, slowly being eaten away It's just another play for today, oh but I'm proud of you, but I'm proud of you Nothing left to make me feel small, luck has left me standing so tall Go! Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe it, you are gold. Glad that you had to return something I, I could have learned. learned. You're indestructible. You're Always character. believe. After the rush has gone, I hope, hope you, you find a little more, more time. Ah. Remember we were partners in crime. It's only two it's years ago, the man with the suit and the pace. Knew that he was there on the case, now he's in love with you, he's in love with you. My love is like a high prison wall, and you can leave me standing so tall. Go, always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in you are gold. Glad that you're bound to return. Something I could have learned. You're indestructible. Always believe in. <laughs> Look at this, they're like gangsters, don't they? Anyway, yeah, thank you ever so much. Spandau Ballet and Gold. Yeah, thanks very much. The only thing I'd yeah, say they do about... like gangsters, don't they? London's East End. Oh, right. Yeah. The only thing I can say about... The Cray Twins. Yeah. The only thing I can say about Spandau Ballet, and that's Tony Hadley, I have to say, is a very happy man. I'm sure he probably is. Well done. Yes. Oh, good for him. Um, but there you go. So that's uh, Spandau Ballet and gold. And uh, so what should we get started for everyone's displeasure then, Peter? All right, well, let's have a look at some... We were out and about today. Oh, of course. Yeah. Now, we were out and about in Chester, so, annoying people. With our views and opinions. Or uh, reminding people, giving people a reality check. check. Oh, right, yeah. That's because a lot of people live in this dream world, that, and they think only think that they're living on this spinning ball. They think that the information they read in the newspaper is true. They think that what information they're presented with on TV is true. So... So essentially, we're out in Chester just giving people a reality check, check. and promoting mm. flat earth. Obviously, yeah, you know, cause these are things you kind of do if you're a flat earther. Mm. And um, so we're out. we had a lovely time, didn't we? Absolutely. And we're out for three hours. Sunday is a great day to do it because everyone's relaxed. Everyone feels relaxed. relaxed. Uh, we had, I think, we had about three, three or four people uh, pretend to laugh. Um, at us, which oh, was well, quite, yeah, which yeah. was quite, yeah, I yeah. Don't, they don't, uh, they don't, people like that don't affect me anymore. No, no, because this is the thing. Once you've seen, I'm not really one, bothered. Once you've seen one person who walks past it and they go <laughs> like this, 
You kind of like look, you, you, you kind of like think, think you look at them and you think pretending. they're pretending. But there there's something wrong with them. I mean, pretending. what's wrong with people? But once expressing you, their views and opinions, opinions. you but know, if you're you, laughing at people expressing their views and opinions, then there's something wrong with you. Absolutely. But once you look at people do that, then when the next person does it, you know, then the next person, you could have a whole group of them all laughing, and you think, absolutely. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. The thing is, more exposure means people get used to the idea. Absolutely. You know, there are people in society now, in this globe society, who truly, genuinely think the earth to be flat a and flat plane and we have first-hand knowledge that there's more people within the cheshire constabulary who are flat earthers yeah we actually got talking to a police officer and he told me that uh, a lot of his colleagues are flat earthers, earthers. so they think the, the earth, earth is flat, flat as well yeah. so it's it's gaining a lot more what's the word um sympathy uh, because people are agreeing yeah with, basically with yeah. we're yeah. seeing less people being um Acrimonious yes, to yeah. flat earthers. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is from our experience mm. being out on uh, so you never the past know, few times you this never, year. Yeah, so you never know. In five years' time, you might see a globy and a flat earther side by side. No, you might see the globy on the street saying the earth's a globe. globe. Oh, right, yeah. And the majority of people walking by are flat earthers. This is what you may well see. Well, yeah, yeah. Because flat earth is street level, it's reality. So, absolutely. At the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. You know, uh, you can see me there talking to this tall guy. He was talking to me about the sun being a sphere. And I'm thinking, but I see it round. I don't see it spherical. Mm. And he's telling me about the the effect where light is blue when it comes towards you and red when it moves yeah. away. And he's saying that that can be associated or linked to the sun and its rotationals. I don't know what he's talking about. And I'm thinking to myself, thanks ever so much for your opinion. No, you know. But how does that prove? Yeah, but how does that information, what you're telling me, actually prove that the sun is spherical? Cool. It, it doesn't. doesn't. Or no. you're just telling me a story. You're giving me information. That's all you're doing. That you've read somewhere. You're, you're wasting my time. Mm. But anyway, great Because there could be other explanations to account for why when the sun moves away from you, it's it's warmer, it's more red, and that could be because of the amount of heat that's in the atmosphere. It could be just the heat it's in the just atmosphere. More heat. I mean, when you think about it, when the sun's coming towards you in the morning time, you've, it's a lot colder. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. cold. Whereas as the, as the sun's moving away, away from, from you, it. it's warmer. warmer. Absolutely. So it's bound to be a difference. You know, the sun's got to warm up everything. If we, you know, anyway, if we take it. The, the sun provides all the heat. Yeah. The heat does come from the sun yeah. itself. So that was a great, great three hours. We great three hours. hours. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll do it again. So we that's that one. Uh, next one we, we should do... We did some TDS meter you readings. We did some TDS meter readings. Here we go. We're back on it again. Yeah, putting a fuel cell. Just to put people to, to rest. Paces, in case paces. people think that we might skew things or whatever. So we, we thought we'd repeat this um, demonstration. demonstration. Because we can guarantee that the TDS readings will increase will increase absolutely because the in our understanding the metal plates that are within the hydrogen fuel cell will decompose mm. especially the oxygen one absolutely the because, anode because it's the one that in the, uh, so you've got some heat. deionized water mm. you did tds the deionized water but i can't i can't see the point of you doing it i think it was was it seven i think it was seven it was seven the deionized water, water. Yeah, yeah deionized water yeah. was seven. Okay, and then I, and then you fill up these two little plastic cups or pots, pots with water the, with the same water, mm. and then you wire up the you squirt some of the water into the anode side of the fuel cell yeah. to yeah. keep it uh, from as a coolant. Yeah, because the, the see this is how these well this fuel cell works, and that is the anode. It's more or less um, potential. It creates a potential difference because the anode gets very gets, hot, gets warmer than the cathode, and that creates a potential difference. The water is employed in that system to cool it down, cool it down, and because the water's introduced into the oh, an yeah, anode side, it decomposes. Because the, the what, metal what's likely, very slowly, what's likely, what l would likely happen? If you didn't put water in that anode side, it would melt the silicon yeah, membrane basically yeah. in between yeah. the two sheets, yeah. and then you'd lose you'd lose it all. It would you'd just, just have a continuous uh, circuit. 
basically. You'd have a continuous circuit, circuit for the electricity. Yeah, to, it wouldn't produce those gases. It wouldn't produce the gases. Absolutely, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. It, yeah. You know, it makes so, so much sense. That's it. So there you are. So you've put water in, you put fixing the tubes. Because the water, it wouldn't produce the gases because the water isn't think, there to you, break yeah, down the, the metal. Here you do a TDS of the water that's in the O2 pot. Hmm. And it comes out at being... Uh, let's have a little look. Comes nine. out at being nine, I think. I'm sure you're right. So I've watched the video before, so it's nine. There you so go. It's nine. nine. There, there we go. go. Nine. Okay. There we go. Just so let's carry boom. on. Carry on to the end. So there we go. We've got it all set up. So you're putting the wires in, connecting the, the wires up. There we go. Just there move it up to the end. There and we we've got it running. There Three volts. Go. Three volts. Three and volts. Here we go. You can see the water level inside the 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 cup, the the plastic bell jar, is going down, down. because Which, the hydrogen gas is pushing, or the yeah the hydrogen gas is displacing the water. The okay. pressure that's the being pressure released from the cathode, from being released from the plates, and we should start seeing some bubbles coming out very quickly, yeah. or yeah. very soon. Now make a note of the time. It's eleven thirty-six. Let's move this along a bit. There we go. There's one bubble. There's there we go. another bubble. There we go. There Just we go. get it in focus. There we go. So there we go. Look, we've got we've got the hydrogen pressure hmm. being created. I should being call released. it hydrogen pressure. pressure. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Hydrogen pressure being released. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll leave that. I don't. And so. so we leave that running, and we come back to it here. Three and a half hours later. Three and a half. Two. It's now three o'clock. And here we go. Let's do. And you can obviously guess what we're going to do. TDS meeting. Meet. Sorry. A TDS meter reading on the oxygen on the water mm. on the oxygen. Yeah. Uh, cylinder. See what I should have done. Oh, you know what I didn't do on this. What didn't you do? Which I should have done. What should you have? What done? I should have done is I should have flushed that oxygen through again, and then. TDS you should have it. flushed the oxygen. Yeah, I should through. have syringed some of the water out from the oxygen pot. Yeah, and then flushed the. Oh, oh right, yeah, sure. Flushed because there the could anode. be impurities yeah. actually in the bottom of the plate that haven't carried through. That haven't carried. The They've just fallen down. down yeah. Oh, of yeah. course. And that would have increased the parts per million. Well, what we should do is next time we should do that. Th and have it longer go have it going yeah, yeah, for yeah. six hours yeah six that's hours. what we should Sounds do it's good so there we go so that's what we'll do next time so tds meter reading on the water that's there you go set the, zero there we go that's in the oxygen pot or the plastic pot come on hurry up. Let's, yeah, yeah just, i'm just waiting just yeah i've got well, i've got plenty of time i'm, I'm not really bothered about time today there you go. time constraints or 11. So we've got 11. So it has gone up. It's gone up. Two again. But I reckon it would have gone up more if I'd have flushed that oxygen plate. Yeah. I, I reckon it would well, have Well, that's up. a good hypothesis mm. for us to test. Well, I'm to sure people we're watching will but, probably uh, think, yeah, makes There you sense. go. We've got, we've got 11. So it's higher. We've mm. got a higher reading for the second time running. Mm. Absolutely. So, um, that, so that seals the deal with that. Well, we could do this time and time again. It supports our same. view that the metal plates are decomposing. Mm. The water on the okay. anode side is decomposing, which is producing... No, the, the water. The water, sorry. The, the water is decomposing the anode plate, which mm. is then producing the impurities, Purities. which is being recorded by the TDS yes, meter. meter. Mm. The increase of uh, impurities. That's yeah, better. That's better yeah. Of course. And it also does the hydrogen side as well. Absolutely. Because yes. the water seeps through the semi permeable membrane mm. to then uh, decompose, decompose the hydrogen, the cathode. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so there you go. So we know, we, we have, our understanding of how hydrogen fuel cell works, or this particular hydrogen fuel cell works, is okay. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, quite happy that with how it the works. anode gets hotter than the cathode it creates induces a potential difference, difference. and the um the, the water is the, used to cool as to act as a coolant but in so doing breaks down the anode breaks down the the anode metal the anode material metal. which creates your gas which creates your gas and your gases basically hold the 
the the gases hold the keep uh, keep the heat in. Mm. They act like an insulator, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah, because if you let the gases go, it becomes mm. it doesn't work as efficiently. Yeah. But the water breaks down the anode, uh, the anode, Absolutely. which releases the gas from the metal. Oh well, yeah, the temperature difference induces a potential difference, and it's stored. So then it's later released once it's attached to a motor. Yeah, yeah basically. You know, that's yeah. it's the heat. Yeah, basically. It's the heat. Yeah. So it would be an idea. What would be an idea to do this and try not allow the anode to get hot. Mm. Now, if you could do that and then try and work your motor, th that would prove whether the temperature has a, is the cause for mm. creating that electricity. Just for, food, just for thought. food for thought. Food for thought. If anyone's listening out there, I know I know one person who probably is and who might want to do it. Oh, right, well, yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, so that's that out, over and done with. So what's next on the agenda? Come on, uh, Peter. This goes to this guy with a super powerful oh. flame. Oh, yes, of course. It reaches yes. temperatures as hot as the sun. Super powerful flame. Now, or uh, it very the... quickly, we've got to... We've oh, got to... it reaches temperatures as hot as the sun. So when the sun's out and you measure the temperature, yeah. oh, it's 35 degrees centigrade today. Oh, right, yeah, of course. So yeah. the flame reaches those temperatures. Those, absolutely, <laughs> of course, yeah. Obviously, it would obviously... If you made this in, oh. say, somewhere on the equator, it would be quite hot, wouldn't it? Hotter than if you were in well, Norway. Yeah, yeah, well, if you made one of these machines in Norway, it'd be colder. Well, you, might, be cold. well, yeah, well, you might find the flame reaches temperatures of 40 degrees centigrade. Absolutely. Anyway, so let's get back onto this. Now, the guy's going to use these these cake tins. Stainless sure, steel. Stainless steel cake tins or, or dessert tins. I, I don't know what I don't they, know they are. are. And all he's going to do is drill two holes in them, all of them, okay, and pop them over rods. Uh, two rods and separate each of these cake tins with a spacer. Mm. Okay, so, so, don't he, touch. so he has a stack of them. Here we go. Uh, let's have a little yeah, look. Wait there. So yeah, there you go. He's got the stack of them there. Okay, clamps it all tight and then houses it into a uh, tubing. Okay, there you go. That's the top half of his tubing. There you go. Yeah, holds it down. Yeah. So the two rods are acting as his. Electrical connectors. Electrical basically. connectors. There so you he's go. got an anode and a cathode. Anode and cathode. Absolutely. Come on, uh, this he's is his bubbler. bubbler. This is the bubbler he's making. There we go. Now this is he's adding some water. There we go. Here's he, he he's using water, but he's adding to the water sodium, sodium bicarbonate. bicarbonate. Now sodium bicarbonate, everyone should know, gives off bubbles. Absolutely, it, it, it gives it produces bubbles. Mm. So, what's going to happen when you uh, switch on this machine? Give off bubbles. It's going to give off a lot of bubbles. Oh. And bubbles are gas. Yeah, basically. Or pressure. Mm. So, one has to argue: is the gas coming from the the water? Absolutely. We don't need to watch is him it making coming from the, his so torch. Carbonate. There. So there you go. He's filling his bubbler up with some water. Is it? A solution. Or a solution. It looks like a solution. Sodium yeah. bicarbonate. So he's connected to a battery pack, and here we go. Power. You can see all of those tiny bubbles rising up mm. to the surface. Okay, so nothing new. This is exactly what's to expect. Bit like our fuel cell. In a bit like our fuel cell. Bit like our fuel cell. Mm. Um, the gases are coming out. There we go. Okay, and there, there's the little flame. Yep. Yellow flame. Yellow flame, reminiscent of sodium. sodium. Oh, okay. didn't he put sodium bicarbonate in there? Well, he put sodium bicarbonate in there. So it would be right, yeah. yellow, wouldn't it? Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was just wondering whether there's a, there's a drop of water. Yeah, I can see that Can as you well. see that drop yeah, of water yeah. there as well? Yeah. That's the water migrating. That's the water migrating from the reaction. solution, from reaction, the solution yeah. along with the hydrogen yeah, gas yeah. through the bubbler and coming out of his... Um, it's coming no, out of yeah. his uh, blo uh, yeah. blowtorch yeah, so nozzle. You can you can liken torch this. Nozzle. You can liken this. this torch. You can liken this. Not exactly the same. To turning on your gas stove. To turning on your gas stove. You've absolutely. Got water vapor. Water vapor in your gas, gas stove. stove. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just want, wanting to see another little. No, there's, oh, there, a, yeah. there's another. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. yeah it's leaking out of the inside so of his pipe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Proof that there's water in that flame. So how can he be burning water? water? How can he get in the hydrogen from the water? Well, it's clear that the water is just migrating. <laughs> well, 
Well, we didn't see this when we were watching the video, but yeah. that is firm evidence to support our view that there's water in your gas supply water, line. Absolutely. Water. Well, this is, is a good demonstration. Absolutely. It's, look, yeah, it's well, leaking well, out of there. Leaking out of there. Oh, it's yeah. leaking out of there. Uh, yeah, so, so, it, so in, it's very quickly, in our understanding, yeah. the hydrogen is simply being produced... Uh, it's simply yeah, being produced yeah. because of the... It's coming from the sodium bicarbonate and or the stainless steel, oh. which is de being decomposed. Now, pause this. Pause, go, or just go back. This is very important. Very important. Just go back. There. Now, you can see that little drop of water yeah, there. Now, can't think you? about this. Mainstream says that if you burn hydrogen in oxygen, it produces water. This guy is saying that he's burning hydrogen with oxygen, because I'm sure it's, there's a production yeah. of oxygen in there somewhere, but he's, produced, he's burning hydrogen. But you see water there as well. There's water in his pipe. In his pipe where there it's is no combustion, combustion taking place. place. So, so to yeah. whoever's watching this, if you Absolutely. think that seeing someone burn hydrogen in oxygen and you see water there present Absolutely. and that's a, a product of the reaction yeah you, you're you know, in our opinion that's totally misguided because the, like we've said earlier the water here has migrated from the cylinder the bubbler yeah. to come out here because it's all it's all under pressure Absolutely. and then it's only that leak as it comes out into the atmosphere that it's not contained under yeah. which means that the water can then absolutely yeah. form. Now, in my understanding, this truly is a leak. It's a leak of information. <laughs> we should put. We should. We should there should be But like, this we, really, this is classic. This is yeah. This is a classic piece of information that does support our view. You know, but water. You know, is water. Is water absolutely all water? Yeah. You can only you could you. Water. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm water. sorry to burst all you guys' bubbles with this information. I didn't see this. This no. was unintentional. Yeah. Water can never be created nor destroyed. It can only change from one form, form to, to another. another. So from ice to liquid, from liquid to vapour, from vapour to, to gas. gas. And, and back again. And back again, if it so wishes to. There we go. So there we go. This, so we this, should this, say cheers. We should leave them a comment. Yeah. Say thanks ever so much. You've yeah. just proved to us. You've demonstrated to us yeah. that, you're, that you're not getting the hydrogen from the water. Absolutely, of course. But anyway, so that's that over with. Now we had a little comment from um, one of one of our. Yeah, anyway, we had uh, uh, that's uh, we had um, <laughs> we had um, we had a oh, comment. I've got that video is classic. Yeah, we had a, we had a comment uh, by they. Now, yeah. They now he's he's a globy. He's been following our videos for a long time. time yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he I reckon he does find our content interesting. interesting yeah. but, but that's what it's all about. It's all about get, getting people to, to think. think. All this kind of stuff. Um, he left a comment on um, blah 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 blah. What do you leave a comment on? I can't remember now. This video. Was it this video? Uh, oh, the, the one that is, and he he mentions oh, why are we talking about him anyway? I can't remember. We were talking. About, why were we going to talk about him? What video has he left the comment on? Um, and you thought SpaceX, SpaceX wasn't wrong. fake. Wrong. We were going to talk about him, weren't we? Oh, sorry. Yes, about the. Yeah, apparently, he give, he tells us that it seems he says, or he writes. It seems rather hypocritical of you, don't you think? By the way, congratulations on making it to the finals of the fakest Flat Earth channel on YouTube. And I didn't even vote. Well done. Now, what's that? Well, oh, we, we, we actually wrote, you know, we wrote we couldn't care about being called a, a fake Flat Earth channel. channel absolutely. After all, people are entitled to their opinions. But it would be nice to be the winner, as that would prove to me that many are just voting the channel wrong but not proving Think the channel, channel wrong. wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. They're not proving us wrong. They might as well go down the polling the station. claims we make. You might as well have a polling station and you can say on your voting card, is, is the earth a spinning ball? 
Yeah, do you know what I mean? I've, I've I wrote here. Go in and vote. May, maybe you guys ought to have renamed the contest. Which flat Earth channel do we dislike Not the most? most? Absolutely, the most hated it's flat Earth channel. channel. Yeah, that's you know, what it should be. You know, it's not our fault that the information is all there online oh. for anyone to access. Yes, absolutely. Well, look at this. Yeah. this look video. at this video here. You've Super got Walter he's saying running that, out of this torch yeah. uh, nib. And yet, he's saying, tip. and yet he's saying that he's producing hydrogen from the water. What's burning? So why is there water coming out of this tip yeah. where there's no combustion? combustion? There's no combustion, yet there's water coming right. out of it. There's no reaction inside his tube. Absolutely, yeah, you know. We don't we don't dish out the information. We just try and make sense of the information. Mm. So, you know, don't blame us. Absolutely. Don't what's what's the what's the phrase? Don't um don't shoot the messenger. messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. messenger. You know, think about Absolutely. the information. Absolutely. If the information doesn't make sense, it's probably nonsense. Absolutely. Anyway, come on. So that's that out Let's of... Uh, and we'd, we'd, hope, we'd hope that they um, can actually find... Uh, can, no, can we'd actually, love to know his, his understanding we'd of still wait, We're still waiting for you to um, tell us how you think a hydrogen fuel, yes. our hydrogen fuel cell actually works, because you've bought the car yourself, Absolutely. as far as we're aware. And you've got all the equipment, the testing equipment. So you've got all the equipment. We're, we're still waiting. We've asked before Absolutely. We've asked two again. times now. Yeah. Uh, we'd still like to know your views on how it works. works. Absolutely. And so, so that we can demonstrate it and we can arrive at the same no, conclusion. No, so that we can determine whether it's in line with what mainstream says it works. Absolutely, of course, because, you know. But anyway, so that's that out over with. Now, water. Which water, yeah, which is, water the best? is the best to drink? I've but got to find the page. That's the problem. In our understanding, it's water. Wait there. I've got to find the page. In our understanding, it's water. You just need to drink water. What page is it? It's not that Wait, one. We've got, to, we've got to go through all of this because I Oof. can't. Oof. Wait Oof. There. We've got loads of it. Wait there. Oh, this one here. There we go. We found it. Is drinking distilled water dangerous? Um, note, I'm not a doctor, zealot, or trying to sell Mate, anything. Text bigger. Come on. But... Sorry, I'm not a seller uh, or trying to sell anything. I'm just a regular guy summarising all the research I did on this topic. Mm. And these, these are the best people to Absolutely, to people who, aren't, who haven't got any, any, any agenda or anything yeah. like that. There seems to be a lot of controversy about what kind of water people should be drinking and cooking their food with. Yeah. Now, as far as I'm concerned, water is water. It doesn't matter where you get it from. Yeah. It's all water. The only thing that makes it different from... Is, are the impurities, the amount and type of impurities that are contained in the water. Yeah. So this article ought to read, essentially, waters, all water's healthy for you, but what are the what type can make it and amount of impurities that can make it healthy or unhealthy? unhealthy. This is what this article should be entitled. entitled but um, Because so, I'm sure there are some... Uh, impurities that are healthy for you absolutely yeah sure but we've got we've got tap water natural spring or rain water filtered reverse osmosis or other cleansed purified low mineral water distilled water the controversy is about the good and bad components in water but that's what we've just said, said absolutely there are a number of good minerals found in mineralized water sources including calcium magnesium potassium sodium mm. now one's got to argue really um you know, one's got to argue, really, when you think about it, that, you know, you know, one's got to argue mineral water. If you've got oh, a stream, uh, natural stream, getting your water from a natural source would be beneficial, would it not? Oh, well, yeah, I, I would think so. Because, I would have thought so. Because if you're, if you're meant to live off the land... Yeah, yeah. If you're meant to live off the, the land, land, then, then if, water from a stream yeah. would be very healthy for you. Hmm. Um, but whether it contains calcium, magnesium, potassium, potassium sodium, sodium, I mean, is it? I don't know. Do Absolutely. you know? Let's see if it know. turns lime water milk in. Let's see if it turns lime water milk in. Oh, no. Be, Why well, should it? It's got calcium. No, it wouldn't. It would be calcium, yeah. Or maybe we could uh, extract anyway. the calcium from it, heat it up, and then we've got calcium <laughs> oxide, and then we can add CO2 to it. Oh, then right. our acid salt gas. Yes. Oh, right. See if it turns milk okay. in. Oh, right. Anyway, carry on. But um, anyway... It's quite good. Uh, this article is quite good, but why we're going on it because we're we basically just need to saying look at the 
for his conclusion. His conclusion. So, so what, what water, water should, should I, I be drinking? This is a good part. This is his conclusion. At the end of it, he wrote, I have no, no idea. idea. How ironic is it that modern man cannot answer such a simple a question. question when drinking water is something that every life form on earth was born from? Well, needs to survive. Five, yeah. If you believe all the evidence in the references below, you should be drinking water with a high TDS, lots of calcium, magnesium and other good stuff that doesn't have toxic metals or chemicals. chemicals. There doesn't seem to be any specific health benefit from distilled water except for avoiding bad chemicals. chemicals. From what I've read, the only danger with drinking reasonable amounts of distilled water is the long-term mineral deficiency it might cause in your body. But maybe our Western diets and lifestyles are already so deficient in these minerals that distilled water exacerbates it. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. There you go. Nobody really knows <laughs> what kinds, what, what impurities in water people ought to be drinking to make them healthy hmm. at all. So if we do that, yeah, no, that yeah, would help yeah. get on yeah. to our um, digital. So I'll, I'll click that off. off and we'll go on to this one. Now, we just come across this Mail Online uh, article. Yeah. Uh, we've got that uh, yeah. so we can get rid of that. Is Just this the, the secret people. to a long life? Okay. Remote tribe living deep in the Amazon is found to have the healthiest arteries, arteries. ever yeah, studied. studied. Wow. The Sismani people who live in the Bolivian and the Amazon spend most of every day active. active. Mm. Nine out yeah. of ten tribes, people had clear arteries showing no risk of heart disease. One 80-year-old had arteries resembling those of Americans in their mid-50s. Mid yeah. I, can, I can consider this to be absolutely yeah. true. It's simply because they don't have to sit at a desk all day long. Absolutely. So Five days a week. Your, there's your, your, your group of people, you know, people, just yeah. sitting around a fire. You know, just living quite... Um, living quite... Off the land. Off the land, you know. Right. The, they follow a carbohydrate-based diet containing little protein and fat. Oh, it's man putting his... Absolutely, of but course. our understanding of a carbohydrate is a food that's undergone a carbohydration process. Do you process. think they drink rainwater? They may do you well think do. They they I would. I mean, rain they, it probably well, it rains, rains a lot. Yeah. Rains a lot over in Bolivia. Yeah. But I, even I would drink rainwater mm. if I had a means to collect rainwater. Mm. I would drink rainwater. Use a large leaf. I collect, could do. Collect your I rainwater. Do. I would drink rainwater mm. simply because it's pretty clean. Mm. It's pretty anyway, clean. And you, if you leave it for a while to settle, mm. it will um, any impurities like some, any acids or something they would um, evaporate off mm. from the from the water. But there's there's not many rocks there, or you know, because it's all forestation. It's so, all forestation. So where's your sodium and your potassium and your calcium? Yeah, you know. Abs absolutely. But, but anyway, but heart disease. It says heart disease is the biggest killer in the world. A problem that until now doctors have thought yeah. inevitably becomes a risk with I'll age. Take. But the Sismani people, a foraging society in the Bolivian Amazon, do not demonstrate the pattern seen in Western and industrialized societies. Sorry. Now that this information indicates that um, heart disease, being the biggest killer in the world, is a problem of Western and industrialized Social societies. societies. Absolutely, it's clear, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we do not live in a healthy environment. Moment. Absolutely. Because of the way society is being constructed, we don't. It's not healthy. This information clearly tells us that. Absolutely. So yeah. that's this is just a reminder, really, isn't it? Yeah, the Somali. Hold on. Sorry, the the people who live in the spend most of every day hunting, fishing, farming, and gathering wild fruits and nuts. Yeah, and follow oh I yeah, a carbohydrate based diet. So blah, they're blah, blah. actually just. Living, they're just living their lives. That's all. Just That's living. absolutely, of course. They don't have. I bet they have better eyesight. <laughs> absolutely, I bet they've got wonderful eyesight. eyesight yeah. They can. They can see. They can see a small little rodent foraging in the forest. Course, yeah. You know, whereas or people who are stuck on computers for a long time, you know, yeah. I mean, you've got to be joking, you know. But you know, or down their phones. So the nearest they get to society really is wearing clothes. Um, absolutely, nothing yeah. wrong yeah. with that really. Uh, bows and fishing, arrows they're yeah. fishing you know yeah. you know that's that where they are do we need to go and have a little look, look at, at the comments just have, have a little look, look at, at the they're gutting out a deer a deer that they've hunted there for you go. food mm. for food you know so I mean it's one must be wonderful to live around peaceful there, you know? peaceful no stress 
Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing that they haven't mentioned in this article. The emotional benefits of living yeah. with nature. Absolutely. Absolutely. And not being surrounded, yeah. not, not sitting in, sitting at an office all day. Yeah, but you, when you think about it, it's probably quite unhealthy to live where there's too many people. Too many people, absolutely, of course. But that, some of the... Some of the uh, should we have a look at the best rated? Best rated? There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. What you eat actually affects your health and lifespan. Why I never, in all my days, would I ever guess that? It is so good that we can trust corporations to control our food and drink supply. Then, ain't it? I'm so glad that companies put our well-being before profit. Yeah. Obviously, the guy's being facetious, but he Absolutely. gets the best, you know, the best rated. Mm. Well, that's Absolutely. it. All it is is just a, an example of, of where the Western society isn't cut up to what it to what it is to what it promotes itself to be. And all the stuff down the right hand side. Yeah, all this stuff all on this the stuff right hand side right. rubbish. Is is absolute trot absolute in my opinion. Rubbish. All of it. All, all, of, of, it. It. all of it. I mean look at it, it's filled with trot. Who wants to sift through ruin lots of retina cells, cells just looking, looking at this rubbish. trot? It doesn't affect anyone. Absolutely when of you course. Think about it. Best race. What's the worst race? I've just got to have a look. Yes, look at him ripping the animal to shreds. Kill all the animals is a key to long living. But Sounds like people a, don't well, realise that they need to eat. Yeah, well, it sounds like that. that was that's the kind of comment a globy would leave. Absolutely, of course. Yeah, all well and good, but please drop the picture of a deer being cut up. Right, okay. Well, right, okay. Anyway, but it's uh, wonderful. You know, I yeah. would much rather be healthy. You know, and, and not have to go into see doctors and health yeah. practitioners. Yeah, if you, all this if you look, scroll up, see all the the people together. That that's so, up, yeah. yeah. Up, you know, up. when you look at all the people together, you know. Well, they all. There we go. Yeah. Bet a lot of them are quite happy. Quite a lot of them are quite happy. And when you think about it, th people in their old age get looked after by their yeah, know, fellow yeah. members. Yeah. You know, absolutely. By anyway, their families. Come on, let's go on because we've got twenty about twenty absolutely, minutes left. Absolutely, yeah. We haven't got much time left, and we've got so much to get through. Now, there we go. What are we on now then? We're on the biggie. We're on the biggie. So here we go. Are we ready? Yeah. A new thought, the Philosopher's Stone, couldn't be found. Well, in our understanding, Standing. you'd be wrong because it is our view, our opinion, opinion, that commercially produced gold is made from... Base metals. Base metals. Synthesised. It's synthesised. Mm. Absolutely. Now, this is a, the word synthesised comes up very frequently within chemistry. Mm. If you look at Wikipedia pages on an awful lot of uh, chemical substances or metals or powders or whatever, the word synthesis comes up mm. and it really relates to the fact that... Well, I'm going to say that chemists are looking at other ways in which they can produce... The same stuff. The same or similar product. Absolutely, of course. The same or similar mm. products. And obviously methods uh, can vary to produce mm. a, the same or similar products, mm. which is which is quite true with reference to gold. Because mm. we now this is a uh, topic that we are aware is quite uh, over. I was going to say overarching because it covers quite a lot of facets. Facets because we have like gold panning. We have gold. Um, gold, gold mining, mining. gold mining, where, yeah, where allegedly people, people find, find nuggets, little nuggets. We have to look or at grains. It. We have a. There's also in the impact of well, what is gold? We have to look at what else is with gold. What else is in gold? What else is? And so there's a lot of strands to this. So we're going to like tread carefully because when we do this video, and hopefully we'll get people like yourselves to leave comments which will then help us formulate an under, well, a better understanding absolutely <clears throat> when we do our next video absolutely but the thing is is that in good old youtube style you know we've we've got to ask you the viewer absolutely what do you think yeah. after after us presenting the information to you what do you think gold is do you think gold is um a lot of the gold is or all gold is um, an element you know, in its own light, or do you think that it's more than possible that gold could be a manufactured, synthesized substance? Commercial, commercially produced, produced gold, gold is a synthesized 
uh, substance. Because that, that, I mean, if if we go on the on the understanding that man always promotes, well, man says that the Earth is a spinning ball when a flat Earther knows that it's not. Absolutely, of course. Man says that Father Christmas gives you your Christmas presents when in fact he he doesn't. There's Absolutely, no such yeah. thing. So is the philosopher's stone an actual red herring to make people think to that make you can't know, yeah. make gold from base you know, metals. base metals or from something that is um, is cheap? Abso absolutely, of course, yeah. Because um, so come on, right, let's, yeah. I think, um, I think it's knowing where. To, well, let's yeah. read up on the, the now philosopher's the philosopher's stone. stone. Yeah, a lot of people should know about it, especially if you watched Harry Potter. Mm. Saw Harry Potter. Yeah, there was whatever, a, yeah. But uh, the philosopher's stone, more properly, philosopher's stone or stone of the philosophers, is a legendary alchemical substance, substance. capable of turning base metals such as mercury into gold, gold. Mm. Uh, or silver. It is also called the elixir of life, useful for rejuvenation and for achieving immortality. For many centuries, it was the most sought gold in alchemy. alchemy. The philosopher's stone was the central symbol of the mystical terminology of alchemy, symbolizing perfection at its finest, enlightenment and heavenly bliss. Efforts to discover the philosopher's stone were known as the magnum opus. Great work. Now, a lot of that is absolute rubbish, rubbish. as far as I'm concerned. But uh, the whole point of this is that throughout history... It's been recognised that um, gold has been regarded as a very precious metal. metal. Mm. And some people have thought, is it possible to make gold using m metals or substances that are more common, mm. more, you know, more easily, readily found? Available, yeah. Readily available. I don't think we need to go through any of this. No, because that's just it. the story of it. Really. But So that's just the story. Now, it is our understanding uh, that we're going to present to you, you guys that commercially produced gold is made from... Um, it's synthesised. It's synthesised. It's made from readily available materials. materials. It can be made from readily available materials. It's possible that if all the gold mines, say, stopped producing gold, they'd still be able to produce gold mm. from other places, mm. which is, you know, which is... A, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they'd yeah still because, be able, because they'd be able to synthesise gold. Yeah, because in our understanding, oh. man places value on gold. Gold Absolutely, is, yeah. Gold is just a substance. Gold is just a substance but like only, any other. It's only man that places the, the, the value... value. And in our understanding, man produces, he manufactures this world. Absolutely, when you think about his it, world, <clears throat> you, when women's you, world. Absolutely, when you do think human about human beings' world. What what's run through um, a lot of our videos uh, is the understanding that man produces his substances, produces man, his gases. Man produces oxygen. Man produces um, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Man produces. Um, Chlorine, for oh, example. Yeah. Um, man produces this is aluminium. Yeah. Man produces Iron. steel. Mm. It's all produced. Um, it's all produced. Man produces his education. Man's education is all based upon man's interaction man, with his environment. Man makes his buildings. And what man, he can do with it. Man makes his cars. Man makes his, his cups, his books, his toilet paper he makes his lights he makes his Absolutely. windows so why can't man make, make gold? gold yeah you yeah, know when you think about it anyway. it makes pure sense so well, let's have a let's have a look because there's knowing which way where it starts so let's have a look at that short video the short that, video that five minute long on uh was it with this this one here yeah how gold is made, the mining and refinement oh, process basics. basics. We now, we should, we, we should watch all of this, shouldn't we? Yeah, we'll watch And hope and pray that we, we'll be all right for copyright. So here we go. Let's watch this. Gold is the softest and most malleable metal. It can be pressed extremely thin, crafted into various shapes, even drawn out to form a fine wire, and all without breaking. Gold isn't affected by water or oxygen as many metals are, so it doesn't rust or tarnish either. 
Most gold comes from load deposits, also called vein deposits, concentrations of gold and other metals in the cracks of rocks. Load deposits require hard rock mining, the process of removing gold-bearing rock, called ore, by drilling and blasting. Miners descend more than half a kilometer underground. There, they drill holes for explosives using what's called a long hole air drill. They drill in a specific pattern set out in a plan prepared by the mine's engineers. The engineers know exactly where those veins of gold are thanks to the mining company's geologists who studied ore samples. The company collects these samples by drilling deep into the rock at 15 meter intervals. These diamond drill cores, as they're called, are up to 100 meters long and measure 3.5 centimeters in diameter. Gold in its natural state isn't pure. It's usually intertwined with silver and other metals. So the mined ore has to be processed afterward to isolate and extract the gold. A metric ton of ore yields only about 6.5 grams of gold. After blasting the rock apart with explosives, miners use what's called a muck machine to transfer the ore to cars headed to the main shaft and then above ground to the mill. There, a crusher reduces the large chunks into smaller rocks about the size of road gravel. A mill then pulverizes them to the texture of beach sand. The factory adds a water and cyanide solution, then another mill grinds it further into a mud-like pulp. The pulp flows into large settling tanks. The wet solids being heavier sink to the bottom. The water at the top drains to another area. They transfer the wet solids to an agitation tank and blow in air. The oxygen sets off a chemical reaction between the cyanide and the gold trapped in the ore, triggering the gold to dissolve and leach into the surrounding water. Drum filters then separate the water from the solids. This water now joins the water that was separated earlier. They pour in zinc powder to solidify the dissolved gold and form pieces containing both zinc and gold. To smelt it into bars, they first have to mix several chemicals. Manganese dioxide, fluorite, silica flour, borax, and sodium nitrate. This chemical mix, called flux, will separate the gold from the impurities. They pour it into the smelter, whose temperature is a fiery 1600 degrees Celsius. They rotate the smelter so that the contents heat evenly. Over two and a half hours, the heavier gold eventually sinks to the bottom, while the impurities, called slag, float to the surface. They pour out the slag, taking a sample to make sure it contains no gold. If it does, it goes back in until it's gold-free. By now, the gold has cooled slightly, so they reheat to 1,600 degrees Celsius, then cast into bar-shaped molds. The gold takes about four minutes to solidify, then another hour to cool completely in a basin of cold water. They extract the gold bars from the molds and clean off any slag residue. Gold bars are also called ingots. At this stage, the gold is 80% pure. The Royal Canadian Mint will refine it to 99.9%, .9%, the international gold standard. Anyway, now, <laughs> so, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a kind of understanding as to how gold is uh, made. made. Now, one of the things I would like to point out, and that is ju this part here, um, I think it was, can we just watch? Yeah, you'll you'll have to watch? keep an eye on the time. Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm well aware of the time. We'll just replay this section here. 
by drilling deep into the rock at 15 meter intervals. These diamond drill cores, as they're called, are up to 100 meters long and measure 3.5 centimeters in diameter. Gold in its natural state isn't pure. It gold in its natural state isn't, isn't pure. pure. Now, gold apparently. So, what is it then? Now, gold, if we go on the Wikipedia page, okay, we're on the Wikipedia page of gold. Uh, let's go right up to the top. There's so much, there's so much there about gold, isn't there? Mm, yeah, I know. Uh, it's a chemical element, but it's atomic, making it one of the blah 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 blah. In its purest form, it is bright, slightly reddish, yellow, dense, soft, malleable, and ductile metal. Uh, chemically, gold is a transition metal in a group of eleven elements. Mm. Um, it is one of the least reactive chemical elements and is solid under standard conditions. Gold often occurs in free elemental native, native form. form. As nuggets or grains. But then it says in gold. In rocks, in veins. But it says here, but from the video, she said that gold isn't pure in natural form. Yeah. Now I can't make reconcile sense, does those pieces yeah. of information. Gold Absolutely. either is pure mm. in its natural form or can be found pure or yeah. it can't be. Mm. The information I've looked at, I would say that gold is never pure. Yeah. Also, what, what made me, because I think what we should do is just talk about that video that we've just watched, because yeah. I'm wary about time. And what we should do, we should do a little uh, stop it there for this for this video. For this video. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then we can carry, carry on, carry on for, for the next one. For the next one. But one thing that struck me about this video is that once they've, once they've actually... Because they use uh, vacuum drying, don't they? They use vacuum, vacuum drying. drying. See, and I'm thinking, but where's the gold? Where's the gold? Where's Absolutely. the actual gold? You yeah, know, let's the go stuff and get that the rocks. Looks... Let's start from here. Yeah, they've powder, they've they've powderizing the the material, obviously, and then they add cyanide. They add cyanide. They put it yes. in a solution mm. of cyanide. Now, cyanidation is a very important um, process. Process that gold or the ore. Is actually um, goes through, mm. and essentially, when you look at all of the processes that uh, lead that go through the ma manufacturing of gold, because it is manufacturing gold, mm. okay. um, they use an awful lot of chemicals. Mm -hmm. They're adding well, they've got cyanide, they've mm. got borax, they've got um, what else did they have? Manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide. Mm. Absolutely, they've got an awful lot. They use oxygen as well. Mm an awful lot of oxygen, which means it's understandable why gold um, maintains its sheen for a long time because it's a, there's a high content of oxygen there. Mm. Oxygen, we know that water breaks down, causes uh, an, an oxide to form. Water does. Mm. But if you've got oxygen, a substance that's highly oxygenated, Generated. it's going to repel an awful lot of that water. It's going to be resistant. To it's going water. to be resistant to water as well, so well, we can understand that. But I'm looking at all these. Just play. I'm looking at all these processes. I'm thinking, but where's oh. where's the the gold? Where where's the gold? You know the the gold that. You know the bits of gold that you saw in that rock. That that sample. You know that sample that, that sample, he drilled out. Absolutely, yeah. Where's all the little bits? Gold. Absolutely, there's, where's all the little bits? What yeah, you're seeing is something that they're like, it's like a, a bit like a cement or a paste or a, I mean, they're vacuum drying there, aren't they? Yeah, they're vacuum drying there, yeah. And it's just crumbling off. It's very similar to how they make lead. And then they add zinc. And they add zinc. They powder. add lots of zinc, zinc to absorb the, the moisture. Yeah. So they get a dry uh, powder. Yeah. You know, and, and then, then they add this Then stuff. they add, also add all of this, this stuff. stuff. Yeah. Your borax, your uh, uh, yeah. manganese dioxide, dark side, you know, yeah. all of this kind so, of stuff. So, yeah. Manganese dioxide contains oxygen, yeah. is oxygenated, but they also use oxygen. Was it the Miller process, I think? Well, well I think one we, of the we need, to, we need uh -huh. to talk more about that. Talk more about know. it, but and it's, it's all fused together. It's all fused together. In a furnace. Yeah, absolutely. At yeah. very high temperatures, I, I think around 1400 degrees centigrade. Well, I, I think. Yeah. Mm. It's all fused together. Looks hot to me. Obviously, uh, you know, you, you, th these guys are making. In, in our opinion, these yeah, guys are making, making gold, gold. Yeah. from a selection of other um, substances. Is, yeah, basically, that are readily available. Yeah, you know. So you know, that's our view. That's our view. What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think the philosopher's stone is just a, a myth, a legend?
Absolutely. What do you think? You can actually make a, a block of metal. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Is that the, is that the same? Yeah. Do you think the philosopher's stone, stone is, is, is a legend? Is a legend. legend. Or do you think you can actually make a, a block of metal like that? Oh, well, yeah. Or do you think you can actually make a block of metal, metal like, like that? that? Yeah. yeah. And gold can only be found in, yeah. its, in its purest form. Sport. Absolutely. Being nuggets. Yeah. These little nuggets, nuggets that yeah. are found. There's gold in them, them hills. hills. Absolutely. Right. Look at the gold I found. Look at the well, gold I found. If you quickly look at his... his uh, the, the nugget box that he's the nugget box there's a video which very should, quickly have we got it here yeah it should be on here where not that one not that one that one yeah this one here we go this one here you now, go. Th this is a guy who does a lot of gold gold uh, clash guitars gold clash searching guitars. was it gold Go panning and all this stuff and what he's done is that he there's a company called lynchmining.com lynch, lynch mining yeah lynch lynch and what they do is that they they sell a a bucket of dirt basically for one thousand dollars for a thousand dollars, and you can actually see how much gold is in there. How much gold is in there? And what he does is that he processes the bucket nugget bucket. Yeah, nugget bucket. He processes it and he comes out with about four hundred dollars worth of gold at the end. Oh, the end result. Go. Oh, where, where's the end result? There, that's just like... there. Where? Just just click on it there. Anywhere. Doesn't matter. Because right that's when he reviews it. Oh, right. Okay. I would have thought I was He comes out with about 400. Um, Enter weight of scrap gold. $400 worth of gold. So he's. he's Select lost. gold purity. How can you say 18 yeah, carat? No, he doesn't he, even know what he purity is. All of these people that who pan for gold. They never, they never test how pure the gold is that they find. Absolutely. Yeah. All they do is weigh it. And mm. they assume that it's gold. Gold, yeah. You know, but let's see how much he's got. Look, there we go, four hundred and twenty-nine dollars. So he's so he's not checked to see whether the what he's got is gold. Well, he hasn't checked the purity the of purity it. of it or nothing, and then anything else. So really, if this is and if you read the comments on this video, I mean, I think he's done it just for the exercise, basically. But if you read a lot of the comments, yeah, a lot of the comments saying it's a con. They're just selling you dirt. Yeah, um, and they're just placing east side rides. That gold looks too clean. It looks like they grabbed some dirt and threw in some gold and shook it up and sent it out. Good scam they got yeah, there. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's simple. Not counting the gold, they sold you about five hundred dollars worth of dirt. dirt. Yeah. I'm sure they knew exactly how much gold there was in there. Genius marketing from their part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I totally agree with these guys. You know, the, these opinions. You know, the, you know. They think about it logically. Yeah, you just know. get the thumbnail up. No? You, you, you know, it's very difficult to get things for free in life. Absolutely. And if it's business, you don't get anything for free. free. Really, Absolutely. Yeah. In in the majority of cases. But we can. Know. But we can. I mean, but there are people. We, we haven't. That's one thing we haven't done with this uh, video, and looked at people panning or mining for yeah, the Yeah, we're only for concentrating things. our mm. understanding Same. on commercially Commercial produced. produced Gold, gold. Mm. but we will. We do intend to follow this up. It's only because we've got a bit of time constraints. But in our be next to, video, it'd be great to hear what you have to say because it would be great to absolutely uh, yeah. formulate ideas for the follow-up. Absolutely, because we'll, I would imagine we should do a new thought. The philosopher's stone couldn't be found um, too. too. Absolutely, because we'll go into gold manufacturing a little bit more. Because it does it does encompass a lot of processes, and we'll provide some more information to support our view, opinion, opinion yeah. that the gold, that gold, um, commercially produced gold is actually made, manufactured. Manufactured, mm. absolutely. So that, I think that wraps us up that then, wraps Peter, us up. for that now. Does, yeah. And uh, there we go. Let's have a little look on the top. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, we've run over a bit. So so there we go. A wonderful day, and um, there, there you have it. Um, so there you go. Always remember till next time. If something doesn't make sense, like, like thinking that you can get hydrogen from water when the actual water is dripping out through you, through your Ab absolutely, of course, yes. in your torch, absolutely, or uh, or even thinking that uh, the Earth's a spinning ball, mm. or even thinking that believe it or not that your twenty-four carat gold ring is pure gold, gold. absolutely yeah. 
Absolutely. It's it's all nonsense. Mm. Absolutely. So we'll see you next, next time. time. Bye. <laughs> Ta-da. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat. Everywhere it's flat.